Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 8 of this SS Normandy tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the funnel supports for funnel number 2 and number 3. Uh, a section of superstructure that goes between funnel 2 and funnel 3. And also, well, all three funnels. I'll add the funnels 1, 2 and 3. And if I've got time, we'll add some more detailing as well later on. Um, so what we're going to do first, before I do any buildings, I'm going to go down to the boat deck which we built uh, earlier on. And we go down to deck level and you can see I've added all the doors and windows along the side now. So I've got doors and windows all along the side of the boat deck. I haven't built any around the back though. So if I just fly down to the back end. Just fly down to the back wall which is curved of course. So you've got the curved wall here at the back as you can see. I've not added any doors and windows to them yet. Because some of the windows are, uh, whereas those under vertical, some of the windows are horizontal. So I need to sort them out uh, a bit later on. Either in this video or the next one or the next one, we'll see. Um, I might also show the uh, placement of the portholes along the white section here. Keep meaning to do that, but I'll never get around to it. But uh, we shall try and do that today. Right, first of all, we're going to go to the back wall of funnel number one, or the support for funnel number one, which is this thing here. Go to the back wall of it on the centre. So here's the back wall. And on the centre block there, we have a count from there along the wood. So that's the first block of wood there. And you're going to count to the 50th back. So that's number one. And we go to 50th from there. So 50 from there. So I won't bother counting. I've just welded it. So it should be 5, 0 from that point. So that is 35, 47, 48, 49, 50. And on the 50th block, we start building again. So that's a 50 block gap. Oh, hang on. It's, a, it's a 49 block gap. Uh, but uh, yeah, 49 block gap. And on the 50th block, you build your wall. Right, so this wall will be 13 wide, so that's 6 other sides, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's 13 wide like that. And I'll work on the left hand side for the minute, so we're going to go to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that, so it's a diagonal wall like that, and rows of 6, uh, 6 rows of 2, sorry. And then you want to go at the end of that, you want to build two back like that. And then three, one, two, three. And then 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like that. And the mouse went into a bit of a spasm spaz mode there for some reason. Um, so yeah, that was 14. I just measured that because it went a bit laggy. I don't know if it was the mouse or the computer calling that, but uh, yeah, that's 14, like that. So that's 14 long. And then at the end of that, you want to build, start building back inwards again. So we want uh, two rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then four. One, two, three, four. And then two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. Two and two. And the change of direction, we go two that way. And then three. One, two, three. And three again. One, two, three. And then th uh, well, one center. So that should be the center there. So I'll put a coloured block there to mark that as the centre, and I think that does line up with the coloured block in the distance. So that is one side done, so I might as well do the other side, and then I'll uh, increase it in height. So we'll do the same again, so it's six rows of two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, two back, and then three, one, two, three, and then four, <coughs> 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then... Uh, five five one two three four five one two three four five row of four one two three four and then uh three three one two three one two three and then two 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 and two and then two that way and then three one two three and then three one two three and that is the foundations of the funnel number two support so it's all curves. Like I said in the previous video, the French were fascin uh, fanatical about curves on their ship, and it really shows. So uh, that is that section done there. And then the next job you want to do is increase the height of this wall all the way around to um, five blocks high. So I'll just do a few sections, and then I'll do a jump cut, because this does take time. So that's two, three, four, five high like that. So I'll try and just weld edit as well. So increase it all to five high. So set quartz like that. One two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. So yeah, I'll, I'll just do a few sections to get it all to five high. 
just so you can see roughly how it will look. So there's the first few sections done, you can see it's all five high. So I'll just do a quick jump cut while I um, increase the rest of it to five high, so um, I should be back in just a moment. Okay, back again, now I've increased the height of the building to five high now, and it should look something like this. Don't look too bad. And the uh, next job we want to do is to add the roof, which will be uh, grey wool, like the uh, first deck house over there. So we'll use grey wool for the uh, roof, and we'll, uh, the grey wool will sit like on the previous building along the top line of the white blocks like this so it's flush with the top edge so you just want to build that all the way to the back end of this and uh, it should go on from there but I just use uh, the fill tool for this just to save a bit of time fill 35, 7, 200 or 300 and there we go that's the uh, roof all covered up and it should look something like that kind of basic but uh, hey ho there we go so that is two uh, funnel supports done so what we want to do now is to go to the back end now we'll go right the way back to the back edge of this part of the superstructure so the deck that we just built that deck house on over there we just go all the way back to the end of that said deck yeah so fly all the way to the end of the deck sorry I had, I had a quick jump cut there because the game went into a massive stutter uh, it took about two minutes to uh, recover, so apologies there. So anyway, we're at the end of the deck now. We're at the end of the uh, uh, well. There's the boat deck down there, and here's the uh, boat deck superstructure. We're at the end, and on the uh, wood blocks, uh, we'll find the centre first, which of course which is here. Uh, on the wood blocks, you're going to count forward to the twentieth. So that's the first block. I'm going to count forward to twenty. So that's well, that's twenty there. So that's eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that, that wasn't just a fluke. So there's the 20th block, so 20th forward on the wood, you're going to build uh, this deck house and the back wall, which is this, will be 7 wide, so that's 3 either side, so that's 3 there, and then 1, 2, 3 there. I'm going to work on the right hand side for the minute, and then we'll flip and paste it in a minute, so out to the side you want 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then you want uh, two ro uh, 3 rows of 2, so 2, Two, two, and then you want two that way, and then you want a uh, row of three, one, two, three, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you want uh, three rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and now we're at the outside edge. So what you want to do is build a line of blocks along the edge, seventy-two blocks long. So that's the first one. So I just uh, measure there, and we'll do two, three, four, five, six. I just do it, uh, do it at random. So it should be seventy-two blocks along this side. So that's seven two blocks, seven two, seven two, and that is thirty-one. That's fifty-seven. That's 72, so there we are, that's 72 blocks. Just checking my notes to make sure that's fine. Uh, so I'll just double check it, so from there, down to the end there. So there we are, that's 72 blocks along the edge. So it's basically making the edge, uh, well, the outside edge, one block higher for the moment. So once you get to the end of the 72, you want to build inwards. You're going to build inwards uh, nine blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like so, and then you want to build forward again to connect it to the forward uh, funnel support, which is funnel support number two. It should be 42 blocks. Um, so I shall go one from that one, and then we'll just build all the way along there, and then I measure it. So that's the first block, and it should be 42 blocks when I get to the end. Up to the end there, and the gap is 42. So that's 42 blocks to connect to the back wall of the uh, funnel support there. So that's the foundation of that side done. So I just quickly do the other side. Bear with me on this one. So what it was, it was four, and this is one, two, three, four, and then three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, two, 
two, and then two that way, and then three, one, two, three, and then four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 555, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, that's fine, right, and then 9 in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then forward all the way to connect to the other deck house. Up to that point there, and that should be 42 as well. And yep, that's fine. There we are, that is the foundations of that deck house done. And I'm going to sneeze in a minute. <sighs> all right, so what the next job we want to do is that foundation we just built, you want to increase the height of that. Uh, to three blocks high, so I shall do the first few sections. So I'll do the straight edges, just increase them to three high, and then we can uh, go from there. So from there down to here, I'm going to use the set quartz tool, which is that one, and increase it to three high like that. So you do three high all the way around, and then along the sides here. Actually, the side walls there. And this front wall increased to three high, but this side wall here—I I nearly forgot about this. So this side wall here, along the edge, only increased it to two high. So we just add another row along because there's going to be some overhang balconies like on the uh, previous deck. So I nearly forgot about that. So just increase it to two high along this section here, and then the, around the back wall, around the curve, can be three high as well. So I just increase it to three high around the back here. Right, so that's one side done. I'll just go back to what I was explaining. So the back wall, the back curve wall like this is three high. And then the side wall, which is on the outside edge, is only two high for the minute. And then the other walls, the walls that go inwards and then connect back to the um, super structure over there, are three high. So uh, that's that bit done. I'm just going to do another quick jump cut while I do a copy paste. And then I'll return to do the, uh, the next job. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've got uh, all the walls increased in height now. So then we've got the uh, three high sections there and there, and across around the back, and the two two high sections are on the outside edge. So what we're going to do now, we're on the uh, left hand side of the ship. So we'll go to the front, very front of the uh, left hand two high section. So we've got this area here, and on the first block of that two high section, which is here. You're going to add uh, well a line of four blocks along the top. So one, two, three, four like that. Then you want two out, so one, two, and then ten back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two back in like that. So as you can see, it's another overhanging balcony like on the previous decks. So that's balcony number one, and then you want uh, a line of twenty-five along the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five like that, and then. Uh, you want to build out two, so one, two, like that, and then another row of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two back in, and then just build a line of blocks along the top to connect to the rest of the three high section there. So there you go, that's that all done. So eventually, as you saw, that became three blocks high, so it's all the same as the rest. So you got the two balconies there, like that, and when back on the deck below, when you come to add the deck. The deck will sit on this groove and uh, will look alright when it's done. So that's that side done. Um, so I should do the other side may as well. So on the other side we do the first four blocks. We just add one, two, three, four, two out. And then add the ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the two back in. And then we add the 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <laughs> and then the 2 out, 10 back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2 in, 1, 2, 
and then build all the way back to connect to the rest of the vessel or the rest of the uh, three high walls and there we go that's those two sections done so now you've got the balconies on both sides and now what you want to do is just add the deck from uh, well either back to front or front to back or side to side whichever and you just want to go and add the deck to the top line of the of the uh, white blocks now this is only as it's only three blocks high you have got a bit of a height restriction under here it's still two blocks high so you have got enough room to move around but it's just a bit lower than the, the rest of the decks but uh, it's not a big issue so you just want to add the wood decking all the way along the top of the white all the way forward to the back of the uh, forward well, all the way back or forward whichever way you're going to connect to the uh, funnel support over there so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand on this uh, wall here and use the fill tool so we use fill wood uh, 300, probably won't need 300 but we'll do it anyway and there we go, that's the deck all added almost, <laughs> there we go and uh, there we go, that is the uh, that uh, superstructure section added there now, it's not a massive uh, change in height but uh, that is that section done and uh, this area here behind the uh, funnel number two support this straight wall here is where the Normandy name goes as you've seen on the prototype you can just see it there where the crosshairs are that is where the uh, Normandy name goes so it would just have big letters saying Normandy but uh, we'll add them another day right so now what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a quick jump cut because I've got to do a bit more measuring and writing things down and I shall return in just a minute so uh, back in a moment okay back again now I've done all the measuring and things required for the next job so what we're going to do we're going to go to the back wall of funnel number two or funnel support number two and go to the center point of the back wall which is this point here got the cutter block here and on the wood blocks below on the deck uh, we've just built we're going to count back to the 52nd block so 52 blocks back is where we're going to start building again so block one is there and we'll go to 52 which is all the way back here that's 38 that's 48 49 50 51 and 52 is there so on 52 is where we start building so this will be the support for funnel number three it's only going to be two blocks high though so not to worry about uh, building it too high so uh, the front wall of this support is going to be uh, nine wide <laughs> so I just had to read that so it's nine wide so it's four either side so one two three four <gasps> one two three four I think that's right so it's nine wide like that and then you want to the side you want two rows of four so one two three four one two three four and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, five rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Uh, and then two back, like that. Um, and then four, one, two, three, four. Um, and then 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, like so. And then at the end, you want. Uh, two rows of five now curving back in so five five one two three four five one two three four five um, and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then three rows of three one two three one two three one uh, one two three and then uh, three rows of two 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 and then change the direction we go two in like that and then four one two three four and then two one two and then a center block different color there so that marks the center point of the back wall there so that's half of the design done it's quite a vast uh, design like that but uh, not to worry so what we're going to do now is go and do the other side so what was it it's um, it's um, two rows of four so one two three four one two three four and then five rows of two, so one, two, three, four, five, and then two back. I'm just reading this as I go along, so it's uh, two back, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then we want 
two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three threes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and then three twos, two, 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 and then two that way, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, like that, and that is all lined up, hunky dory, all like that. And then the next job we want to do is just increase the height of it all to two blocks high. So we'll go across the back and just make it two blocks high all the way around. One side done so far. And there we go. Ooh, hang on. There we go. That's all increased to two blocks high. Now, when we come to add the deck, which is going to be grey again, it's going to go along the top line, of course, of the uh, white blocks there like that. So the, the area underneath, uh, this deck here underneath inside this circle, is going to be redundant. So if you want to, you can remove the, the wood blocks within the circle. So if you want if you want to, um, just get rid of that a second, you can get rid of the wood blocks in the circle like this, and then get rid of the wood blocks underneath the white, and replace them with white blocks. So you've got um, a sort of... Uh, So when you look at it from above, you've got uh, sort of an outline there. It's up to you if you want to do this. I'm not going to carry on doing this too much because it's just going to be covered up. Um, so basically what you want to do now is just to fill in this whole area with grey uh, wool. So like before, I'm going to use the fill tool. So using the fill tool, use fill uh, 35, 7 by 3 or 200. And that should fill in the deck. And there we go. That's the deck all added there and it should look something like that so that is all three funnel supports now in place and now what we're going to do I'm going to fly all the way back to the forward funnel so all the way to the front of the ship well to the front uh, funnel support and we shall start with the actual funnel so I'm going to fly down to deck level and I'm just going to check my notes and make sure I do this right so uh, bear with me a second Okay, so what we're going to do along this front wall here, so we're at the, uh, of course, at the first sec uh, first funnel support. We've got this front straight edge here, and we're going to go to the centre block, and we're going to go to the fourth block back on the grey. So one, two, three, four, and that's where we start building our funnel. So start building the funnel there, and the front of the funnel is three wide, so that's one either side of the centre, and then out to the sides we want three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three and then two like that and then two back and then we want uh, four one two three four and then we want seven one two three four five six seven and then back towards the center again we start building four one two three four four again one two three four four again one two three four and then three one two three three again one two three and then two and two like that so that's one half of the funnel done so do the same on the other side. So we've got the front wall there, and then we want uh, three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, uh, and then two, and then two back, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then after that we want uh, four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then two, 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 and two, and then join them together at the back there like that. So that is the base of the funnel, and that is how the well, that's the diameter of the funnel. So it's uh, quite wide. Now I will point out that on the on the original ship, the, or the real ship rather, the bottoms of the funnels were sort of bulbous. They had a big bulge on the sides of the funnels around the base. Uh, I never managed to recreate that properly, so um, my funnels are just going to be a straight base. But if you manage to uh, achieve the proper bulbous or the proper bulge at the bottom, then um, 
by all means do so. Uh, there are plenty of photographs about but I couldn't really get it right. Plus with the space available it uh, kind of made things worse. So um, just to point that out. Right, so to build the funnels up, the funnel height, the full height of the funnel is 31 blocks. So that's 21 red and then 10 blocks of black at the top. So we'll go from the center point of the funnel first and to build the funnel up um, we're going to build up seven red, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So from the center, you go up seven, and then from behind that, you want to build up nine. So behind the top block, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then behind that, behind the top block, you want six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is uh, the red, so that's six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. What the hell was that? Oh, sticky key problem. Uh, bear with me and go away. Right. Um, 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 um. Um, so yeah, that is the that is 21 high now, as I've uh, just just measured. Apart from that, in small interruption, right? So that's 21 high, and then on the top of the uh, the row of six at the top, we want to add three blocks of black. So one, two, three, like that. And then behind the top block, you want eight black. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that should be 20, uh, 31 high in total. So I'll go from the top there, all the way down to the bottom. Uh, roughly about here. I'll put a block there. And that is... Yep, that's 31 in height, so that's fine. So that's 31 in height. And you just want to build the same design on all the sections of the front of the funnel. So basically, I'd use copy-paste for this. So I'll climb to the top again. So I'll copy from there down to the bottom. And we use copy, and then we want to paste the funnel, or do, or use the same design. So it's it's similar to what we're doing on the uh, hull of the ship. So we use the same design on all the front blocks of the funnel, right round to the front block there of the row of seven. So I just used the copy paste tool to uh, do that. So I just paste on each section. And then down onto the block there, onto the outside. And we've got a few blocks missing because of the way the thing cuts and pastes. And there we go. That is the front sections of the funnel done. Uh, well, half of it anyway, because I've not done the other side. So um, <coughs> what you want to do then is to do the same thing uh, on the back ends of the funnel. So I just copy from this side now. So I do copy there. And then from each back section of the funnel, so along the back, and along the back sections, you want to use the same design again. So on all back sections of the funnel. So I use paste again. So one on there, and then one there, 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 <laughs> there, there, and finally on the end of the seven. So that is the back sections of the funnel done. So it's the same. It's basically the same design as I've done on the centre, but on all the end blocks of each section. So um, so I just go around and point it out. So if I use this this section, use this side as a demonstration. So I just want to use that same design on the front blocks where I'm just building now on each section or each front block of each section, like so. So the same design on all those blocks I just pointed out, and then the same design again on all the back blocks of each section here, like that. So that is each section will be done. All the same, all the way around. So it gives you the funnel, or gives the funnel the sort of the leaning appearance. So you can see on the prototype over there, you've got the slanty funnels. You've got the slanty funnel here. So I'm just going to go on the inside now and fill in each section of the funnel because then I can just copy paste it to the other side then. So I just use, uh, or not use anything, but just fill in the gaps in between these funnel sections. And then the black as well. That's one section filled in. And then the same with the next one. There 
and I'll do the back sections and then I'll do the middle section because that may take a bit longer. So I'll do the back sections. for these two sections as well. Okay, that's the back section. There's still one more section to go. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I fill in the rest of it. And then we can do the uh, copy-paste bit. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've done the uh, filling in all the gaps. And the side of the funnel should look something like that. And she don't look too bad, do she? She's uh, rather large. Now what I'm going to do now is just do the copy-paste to the other side. So I use a few quartz blocks to get the width of the funnel done. Up to there from that point down to the center down here to there let me use copy flip to the right and we paste and there we go that's the full funnel done and it should look something like that now for the top of the funnel I'm not really sure how the um, uh, the, the the top of the funnel is uh, there is photographs of the ship lying on its side in Hong in New York Harbor and you can actually see the top of the funnel and I've not actually integrated that into the proper design so uh, if you want to add the grill or whatever shape to the funnel on the inside is uh, then by all means do so but I'm gonna leave the funnels blank for the minute and I may come back and sort this out later on so don't worry too much so I'm just gonna leave yeah just leave the funnel empty for the minute and then I'll uh, sort that out later on but to the next job we want to do, or what I'm going to do anyway, is to add the front ladder to the funnel. It's basically on the centre, front point of the funnel, just add a line of black blocks up the centre. Up to the top there, and then we add... We need the ladder now, don't we? So we need the ladder. Uh, along the black line. Then for the whistles or the horn, I'm going to use yellow blocks because that's really all I've got available. And just add a couple of yellow blocks at the top, like so. So that sort of represents the whistles or the horn or the f or the whatever it is on the ship. So that's the um, well, pretty much the whole funnel done. So there we go. That is that. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to move along now to sec uh, to <coughs> to the second deck house, second funnel support rather, and we're going to build the second funnel. Now, on the grey deck below, like on the uh, first funnel, we're going to go to the centre block, which I believe is this one. Uh, I'll just measure and make sure. That's six that side, six that side. Yep, that's fine. So I just put a colour block to mark the centre. So on the grey, as before, I'm going to go to the sixth block back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll start with that funnel there. So six block back on the grey, we build our funnel. So three wide again. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, on this section here and on funnel number three, I'm just going to build the base so you know where to put them. And then I'll uh, do a jump cut while I fill in the uh, rest of the funnel. So this is just for the base. So we'll do the same thing again. So it's three wide and then three, three, and then two, and then uh, two back, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, 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 and two, and then the center there. So I do the same on the other side as before. So we do three, three, uh, two, wasn't it? Three, three, two, yep, and then two back, and four, one, two, three, four, and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and then five five one two three four five one two three four five no it's four four one that's four four so four one two three four and then four again one two three four and then three three one two three one two three and then two two and there we go that's the uh, funnel number two base in place <coughs> my voice is starting to die so that's where funnel number two goes so what I'm going to do now is move on to funnel number three and we need a center block again so we just find the center block and put a block there as a marker and then same again we're going to go to the sixth block back on the gray so one two three four five six and we build our funnel again so it's three wide and then three three one two three one two three and then two uh, and then two back and then four one two three four and then seven one two three four five six seven and four 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 one two three four one two three four one two three four and then three three one two three one two three two 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 and two and in the center <coughs> same on the other side so we go three three one two three one two three two and then two back and four one two three four and seven one two three four five six seven and then four 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 one two three four one two three four one two three four and then three three one two three one two three two 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 and there we go that is funnel number three uh or the base of it in place <coughs> so before my voice dies uh i'm going to do a quick jump cut and while i fill in the rest of the funnels build them up to the proper height and then i shall return in just a moment so uh, back in a moment okay back again now i've got all three funnels in place now and the ship should look something like this looks rather marvelous doesn't it all in place with the funnels gives the ship a proper identity now and so that is pretty much it for superstructure builds for today um but uh, there is a few more things i want to do before i disappear um 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 um, um. yeah what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the back end of the superstructure now i'm going to sort out those windows i keep missing so what we're going to do what we're going to do what we're going to do we're going to go down to the back end of the uh, the deck with the overhang above, so the, the overhang deck here, or the overhanging window, sorry, the overhanging window is on the side here. And you go to the deck behind that, this area here, and on the side wall here, roughly, I want to say one block down from the top, we go about, I don't know, one, two, three, four blocks forward of the end, and one block down, we're going to cut a hole, uh, three, three blocks high, two blocks long. And then leave another gap between you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you've got two windows like that. And then we add the glass in the side like so. So there we go. So you've got the uh, two windows. And then you leave a two block gap. So you've got uh, no, well, a three block gap, sorry. <gasps> Pardon me. So you've got uh, those two windows. And you leave a one, two, three gap. And on the fourth block, sorry, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> we uh, cut another hole, and another gap, and another hole like that. And then we put the glass in there. And then we get your four windows. Look on the prototype. Can't see them, but they're over there. So there's the four windows. And now for the windows along the side, which are effectively portholes, although I don't think they are in the real ship, I think they're actually they actually are windows. We're gonna go from the bottom of the last glass window. We're gonna go one, two, three, four gap, no, three gap. And we start adding the windows. I just want to make sure that is at proper height. Yep, that's fine. So basically, you want the window one block above the uh, above the deck. So you get the deck level there, and not the window one one above it, like so. And then we're going to add six windows. So you leave a three block gap. So one, two, three, and then a window. Then one, two, three, window. One, two, three, window. So how many is that? That's one, two, three, four windows. And then another gap window one two three four there we go that's five six windows that's one two three four five six now it says that's six windows and then what we want to do is from that last window you go one two three four five down and we add a window there and this should be at deck uh, the right level as well so make sure yep yeah, that's fine it's one above the deck below so it's a bit confusing how I'm explaining this but uh, don't worry it will come together eventually and then that window there, you want to build. You want to go one, two, three back, and on the fourth block, add a window there. So that is two windows there. But don't 
carry on building back because these ones are going to be building forward. So we've got those six, uh, two windows there and leave a three block gap forward and add another window and same again, another window, same again, another window. Don't worry about it being on a join, that's uh, how it should be. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five windows. Then we go one, two, three gap and then there's the sixth window. So you've got six windows there and then six windows down there and if you take note that the last two windows of the top overlap the, the first two windows of the bottom. So that is how we're going to go with this one. So we go back to the last two windows of the uh, row down here and we go back up and we start adding the next set of windows along the top. So you've got two windows overlapping there and then we go three, four, five, six like that. So that's six windows and of course the last two or first two whichever way you're building will overlap the ones below like that. So it's six and then six down there and then six up there. And we'll do the same again along the next row. So we add one there and then one there. And then there's three, four, five, six. So you can see those two bottom windows overlap or are, or are directly below the two windows above. So this is how I want to build it all the way along. I have done it on the prototype but slightly differently but I'm doing it properly on this one because I messed up on the prototype right so now we do the same again uh, we go up to about is it that height yep so we had the first window there and then the second window there once again overlapping the windows below and then we go window number three window number four window number five window number six like so and then down below again we add the two windows at the bottom so there's two there, and then we go window number three, window number four, window number five, window number six. And if I zoom back, you can sort of get an idea of where the windows are placed. And as you can see, six there, six below, six up, six down, six up, six down. And what you want to do is just build that all the way along the outside edge of the ship now, roughly to where the uh, hull starts to curve back in. So I just fly forward. And you just want to carry on the same design all the way forward, all the way forward, all the way forward, till you get to this section here where the uh, hull starts to curve back inwards. Because I would try and add portholes to this area here, but it's so complex with the curve, I don't think it's really worth uh, destroying the, uh, the curve there. So just build the windows forward up to this panel here where it starts to curve, and then you should be fine. So, what I'm going to do. So do a quick jump cut and I uh, shall uh, fill in the windows and then I shall come back and show you how it's meant to look. So uh, back in a moment. Okay back again. Now I've filled in all the windows along the sides now and it should look something like this up to the front point there. So I've got all the windows in place and uh, all in that uh, same um, what's the word? Same order if you like. All the way down the side and it don't look too bad can't really see it from this distance, I mean it's just black behind them. So if I zoom out far enough you might be able to see just enough. But as you, yeah, you can see the 6x6x6 six by six by six like that. And it goes all the way along the side up to the front panel of the of the uh, side of the uh, bow. <coughs> Voice is starting to die so I'm not going to do much more today. Anyway that is pretty much it for today anyway. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to quick fly around the ship because we're getting near the completion now. Well, not near the completion, but we've got to the main bulk of the ship out of the way. And we're going to move on to smaller details from now on, I think. We've got uh, masts, lifeboats, a few chunks that need loading, propellers, rudder, lots of windows, lots of handrails, lots of air vents, the name, of course, of the ship, the details on the forecastle. So still plenty more to do, but it's just not a huge amount of uh, big bills like... Uh, the funnels and the details and the superstructure and things like that so we're gradually winding down anyway this is rich signing off logging off and disappearing and i shall return is it part eight this one yeah i think this is part eight and it says so part nine will be the next one so yeah this is pretty much it for part eight and uh all of those details i mentioned will start in part nine so yeah like i said this is me disappearing and i shall return in part nine so uh bye for now